Welcome YouTube watchers and fellow StarCraft gamers. I'm Darlanio and this is a game played on the ladder tonight, the 12th January, Friday the 12th January. And uh, I was lucky to be in this game against Captain Red, who spawns in the upper left corner as the Red Protoss. Captain Red as Red, that's good. And in the lower right corner you could see earlier that I spawned. And to my, my opponent's surprise probably as a Zerg, because I'm playing random. And um, as you can see I'm not producing much right now, but I'm planning to in just a moment. I went for the hatchery first build and uh, I was planning uh, to play the, the, three ha uh, the three base hatchery, the, the two hatchery first. But um, I got scared in this game. I um, lost the game before this one on the ladder and I was uh, not feeling self-confident. So I went for a uh, Two base, extractor first, spawning pool, and later I will expand up to three bases. But that's going ahead of, of, of everything here. So right now the Protoss is building up his base. As you can see he go for the gateway first and then the Cybernetics Core and Forge. Since we can see he is planning to mine from two gases, this early of the game, we could have a guess, and there is the Stargate. So this could be a um, Oracle Harass, or it could be a uh, Sky Toss, or it could be um, uh, maybe three gates Stargate, if he starts up the uh, Dwarf Gates research, but we don't see that yet. As you can see, I started Metabolic Boost on my end of the map. I still don't have that third base yet. But I did place a drone ready for that. I actually also moved that drone once. I'm here, and I'm producing more queens. Or this is the first couple of queens, maybe. He's chrono-boosting out his oracle. That's completely correct. And he's building two cannons at the front of his natural to be able to defend. There goes the third hatchery down. So even though we only see his part of the map and what he's doing, uh, I can let you know that I have th three bases right now. But let's look how this oracle is traveling. Of course you should go for the natural quite fast. And he's doing some sort of checking out my uh, third base option there. Uh, I guess he was looking for that third base, but he doesn't see it. He sees a natural and he starts shooting at the drones. I shoo him away, or rather I should say the AI controlling my queen shoo him away a bit. But he still gets three drones there. And after I move away in my drums, I still have two started mining, and yeah, you see those die quickly. But here's where I think the Protoss go wrong. Uh, he see my Overlord, he does an all-army A move to get rid of that, because he doesn't want me scouting up in his base. And that all-army A move that I guess he was doing, he takes home his Overlord. No, his Oracle. And why is that bad? Well, let's take a look at the map right now. He knows I have a natural and he knows I have a main base. Everyone should know that. But he doesn't know about my third. And he doesn't know about the Zerglings coming in, which are more of a scouting uh, party right now. I realize I'm running into cannons, so I move my Zerglings away from those and start killing off some probes. He slowed me down, so I need to slow him down, otherwise this will definitely be Our forces have opened fire. trouble, at least later on. His second warp gate is coming up and I 
could see that. Our forces have engaged if I'm actually enemy. aware of it, I'm not sure. But um, I'm more focused on my economy right now. And as you can see, he's not really trying to get rid of these Zarglings just yet. He lost a few probes. If we look at the probe count, he is down to 19 on 36 right Can't now. Follow that command. And here he comes with his overlord and saves the day. This hero, sorry, this hero Oracle is saving the day when he gets his energy up and running and starts using it. Only one Zergling left hacking at this Nexus and that won't be enough to get it down. So I actually moved it up here to hopefully do some more damage. And of course I didn't get even one probe there. But I did get some more scouting. I did not see this Void Ray move out. But as you will see, I see it later. We go back to Captain Red, I think, for a while. He's at two bases. He knows about my natural. I'm playing Sarg. He shouldn't assume that I am on two bases. I think that's actually quite a big mistake at this point. I didn't see his Void Ray right there, but I did see his Void Ray entering my natural base uh, view of the map. And I react by making more spore crawlers. I should have made a lot more during this game. Because as we know now, even though I didn't during this game, he's going for sky toss. Um, and um, that oracle was a little hint, knowing he has two stargates, should definitely tip me off. And um, uh, even though he's just on two bases, he is planning to produce a lot of carriers. I'm producing drones, and I'm very happy with that. Income-wise, I am hammering away at those minerals quite fast. I don't have enough gas to produce any mutalisks, but right now that's not a problem, I think. The problem is I have nothing against that void ray uh, except static defense. Nothing left in that mineral cluster. Queens. Can't be done without more overlords. But I'm upgrading my mutas and I'm quite happy at this moment. At least thinking, assuming that he's on two bases. Mineral field. Uh, I should have known he could have been at three bases. Here comes the attack from the, we face the enemy. Void Ray. Our base is under attack. I moved my two spore crawlers. Two of my spore crawlers there and he moves away his Void Ray. He see my base coming up here. But he moves home with this Void Ray, not even attacking the poor Zerglings that have nothing against the Void Ray attacking them, of course they do. Um, but he just moves past them and they wave happily with their wings and everyone is happy, peace after all. I'm continuing producing a lot of queens and that's because I'm starting to guess that this is indeed a sky toss. Uh, however, I'm not mining gas, and my creep spread is the worst ever. You could probably find Bronze League players having much better creep spread than I do. But that's life when you play random. You can't be good at everything. And I'm quite bad at everything. Yeah, that's an assimilator. He starts off with an assimilator instead of the Nexus. That's how desperate for gas is. And I'm producing five more queens. Not sure what to use them for right now, but I hope that's creeped spread. Anyway, we have a few mutas in there, six of them, and that's good. I should inject more larvas as well, definitely. He's going up to the third base. And uh, I have doubled the amount of harvesters, but I should definitely go up to 80 harvesters, I think. You can 
not go bad with uh, 80 drones. You can always use them. Let's go back to my camera view and see what I'm doing. I'm managing this base right now that I planted in the north. At the 10 minute mark I'm having 5 bases and I'm finally starting my creep spread. That's good. I could definitely use more drones as I said and I could definitely use more mutalisks. 116 of 134 and just now I started producing 9 more mutas. Get him. Getting supply blocked there. No movement from the Protoss. My grip on the Selnaga and my Overlord could be there placed, definitely. But um, I was afraid he was going to come with phoenixes and, uh, phoenixes and kill off my Overlord. So I grouped them up here. Which will also save my Spire a little while. Against the worst player, at least. Anyway. Right now his count of carriers is just three, but it will quickly increase. And the question is, will I be able to increase my number of mutas in time for that? 146 out of 200. Will we see another spamming of the oh, T key? Your Zerg have mutated. There we have the upgrade to 1-1 one, one for the mutas going for the 2 attack now, spreading more creep. Where are the mutas? There! Good. Using up all larvas to get more mutas. I still don't hit 200, but I'm, I'm going there, I'm going there. So what should you do against sky toss? Well, not go mutas, of course. Um, the best defense against uh, Sky Toss, from what I understand, is Hydralisks. So you should have a lot of Hydralisk, you should have static defense all over the ground, you should have Queens. And the Queens could uh, transfuse the Hydralisk, they can attack the, the carriers and so on. Um, going Corruptors is not good. They are not shooting fast Our enough. Forces have opened fire. My uh, Sarglings ran into, because I also do the F2 A move thing. But um, they ran into the carriers and I think I actually saw Our that, that I did that and removed them home. Um, I tried to pick off a few carriers for some reason. I know I have a good bank so okay I can rebuild many mutalisks quite fast. Uh, going down to 149 before I return up to 189. Uh, need more larvas, so I inject those. I should have injected larvas before this, of course. I already had them, but, well. I'm just platinum. I should be faster than this. And going home with my mutas, let me revive them. They uh, replenish their health quite fast. And uh, with 199 supply, of course, building five more mutas. So I don't have the full army yet, but I still have a quite a good army. But this time I realize it's not a good Mutation idea to complete. attack the Protoss head-on. So instead I'm doing a more sneaky maneuver. I'm attacking his uh, fourth base location. Hoping to find a base there that's just going up, but no, he's not that fast. So I'm attacking nothing right now, just hanging out We're with my mutas, enjoying the weather. Quite nice weather here on higher. Anyway, I'm taking out this natural base. Fire. It's been mining far too long, thinking about Our the Zerglings that were trying to take it down. I take out the free Phoenix, and uh, I escape with my us for now. Up to his main. I think I took out one or two probes there maybe. And then I escaped down here to the third base. He's still following me and Our forces have opened not fire. actually doing that much damage. He's killed four mutas I think and I'm rebuilding those at home. 
now he's taking out quite a few, so now I go home. And he's following me. Um, I can't fight his carriers dead on. But my mutas are faster. And the mobility I definitely can use. Right now he's on one base. Because I killed two of his bases. And he's moving in to start base trading me. Or what we could call it. He's going to try to kill off my mutas. And my bases. Someone stopping on your drone. Our base what I should have done already, and that I'm starting to do now, is creating those fire. nets of spore crawlers, as well as moving my mutas into his part of the map. The enemy. And I should definitely start the base trade much earlier. Right now I'm micring a queen to attack that phoenix, really stupid of me. But, yeah. You can't always do the best play in all events of the game. So I'm building more spore crawlers which will at least attack. occupy him a bit and meanwhile oh, I'm using my mutas to start attacking his bases. Our forces have opened fire. And that's good because this turns into quite a base trade and when you look at the map now knowing that I have base in the north that we're looking at right now I have two new bases Our in the south that I'm not mining attack. from yet, but they are still there. Our forces have opened fire. And thinking about that he has mostly carriers. How will he get all these bases killed off in time? Well, he could split them up of course, but then I could return with my mutas and try Our to take out the group attack. that is the Our smallest. Have engaged the enemy. So at this point I'm actually in a winning attack. position. I need to take out the cryers he's producing, and I'm taking out fire. one, and then I have to return back and kill off the other. And then I Our take care of his attack. final nexus. At least Our I think it's his final enemy. nexus, because he built one more in this game. Our forces have opened and he fire. hasn't done that yet, but here comes the hero probe and builds the nexus. That will be the last in this game to stand. Base is under attack. He knows I have something up here. He knows I have a base down here and a base da up here. And he can probably realize I have passed by here Your with a drone. Are under and if you pass by somewhere, so sir, is under attack. then you probably just plant the hatchery for the fun of it. And of course I did. And these uh, eight carriers are uh, going to town on that hatchery and we'll have to take out this hatchery and then they attack. need to go up north we and take out this the and then they need to look at this extractor and think about what could be here and meanwhile maybe I'm building more Our base is hatcheries, under you never know so carriers in this case are not good at base trading he has one nexus left, I will go down and kill that one and uh, here is my hero drone that is planning to do a hatchery up in his main, just for the fun of it. And as you can see his carriers are moving so slowly over the map while I'm already down in this nexus killing it off. I hope you enjoyed this game, uh, maybe you learned something, if you didn't, understandable. Uh, most of you are better than me. and. Um, Talking about better, I must recommend Loco's channel. Loki is a hero of mine. He has made a lot of good videos and I recommend you to watch them if you haven't already. Um, they're better than mine, but if you want funny commentary with a Swedish accent, yeah, you're welcome to watch my next video. Hope to see you again. Until then, take care. Bye bye.